Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about telemetry. We're going to be talking about a piece of software that I've just started using which is the RS-Advanced Session Recorder. Now the Advanced Session Recorder allows you to record 11 channels of data about your car and about the laps that you're running and what this helps you to do is to compare your times with some other times that you've set, some other times that your friends have set and be able to have a look, go in and have a look at your brake and throttle traces, your kind of delta around the lap and so we're going to get into these features in a little bit and just explore and see what kind of data and kind of conclusions we can draw. But before we do that we are of course on the run up to Christmas and I've set myself a target of 150 subscribers before Christmas. At the moment, at the time I'm recording this now, I'm at 140 subscribers so thank you very much to everyone that has subscribed so far I'm so so close so if you are enjoying these videos if you like the content that I make then don't forget to hit the like button down below hit the subscribe button and of course the little bell notification as well so that you guys know when I release a new video so once we've got ASR downloaded and of course we've paid our 14.99 yearly fee to be able to uh, access the advanced features for the RS dash app then uh, we need to go into the actual software and just set a couple of things up. So if we go into more options and then settings, you can see that I've got the app set up to uh, synchronize all laps. So you can actually set this up so you can only do your fastest lap or your fastest lap per pit stop. So obviously once you have a pit stop, it then resets and records your fastest lap. I just do all laps because... To be honest, there's quite a lot of, I think it will record up to about 500 laps before you start running out of space. So I've just got everything to set to all laps. Um, once you've gone through that and done that or set it to whatever you want it set to, you can go to Start Recorder, pick your preferred platform. Now, of course, for Assetto Corsa Competizione, it only supports PC. Um, a few of the other games, it does support PS4 and Xbox One as well. So we'll go through and just hit Assetto Corsa Competizione. So now it's sitting there waiting for me to start the game. So once you have your recorder up and running and recording, there is nothing to do apart from go and start the game and start a session. You don't need to tell it that you want any telemetry lapse recording. It just records the entire session automatically. So um, I went and did a multiplayer lobby and recorded every lap from that.
So once we've finished our race, we need to go to our rs-online portal. Again, the link to that is in the description below. Um, and we want to take a look at this racing history tab here. And that gives us all the sessions that we have recorded. You can see I've got quite a few in there. And particularly the race session that you just saw is this last one here. So we click on that and we go through and uh, it tells us our race results, our progression. So where we were, we started third got up to first, dropped back to third, and then went to second. Um, there's a few other handy things there, a lap time chart. So looking at your lap times um, on a line graph to show you how consistent you were. And to be honest, to me, looking at that graph is not too bad. There's a very obvious lap there where I made a mistake, um, which you guys will have seen on the uh, the very speeded up video. And uh, I mean, um, hopefully you enjoyed the music underneath that as well. So you've also got tire temperature and tire pressure graphs and some tire wear. Um, obviously, it being a public lobby, if there's actually any tire wear, track temperatures along the session, um, average RPM, peak RPM and gear. That's quite a handy one. So there we go. Lap six that was actually my uh, highest RPM in any year. Um, fuel usage, so fuel level and fuel usage. So that gives you your um, fuel usage per lap depends so obviously depending on how fast you go you uh, will obviously use more fuel now another cool feature that I want to get into is this analysis tool and that's what you pay the $14.99 a month for which is the ability to overlay one lap against another so for example this is my race session from today um, and you can see at the moment it's uh, overlaid lap three as the inner lap on this uh, nice lovely little track map there with lap four which is the outer lap now there's not a great deal of difference between those two laps there's only a couple of tenths so I'm actually going to take that lap instead and uh, that should give us a bit more kind of difference to have a look at now one of the first things that's really really handy is obviously this grid view here which shows you pretty much every parameter that you need to have a look at um, on your way around the lap now you can literally just click around the lap and it will bring up all the data for that particular marker so for example if I go on the entrance to stow you can see on my reference lap I'm actually a couple of mile an hour faster than my comparison lap so my outer lap um, and that kind of shows you where uh, where you're losing time now you can look at this in a nice lovely uh, kind of track map way if I bring the kind of track map into view you will see so what you have is thousands of thousands of reference markers around the track and it basically takes a snapshot of what's happening with the cars at each of those reference markers so for example if I just back that up a little bit there we go we can see I have focused in on stow there and you can see on my outer lap I'm actually braking a lot earlier than I am on my inner lap so that's actually where an awful lot of the time has gone I'm braking earlier um, getting off the brakes at the same time so consequently slowing the car down but there you go look there's four mile an hour difference there between uh, my faster lap and my slower lap so it's a really powerful tool and you've obviously got all of these kind of graphs up here that you can take a look at as well so for the same section that's exactly the same section of track as I was looking at a minute ago so if I go back that's our section of track you can see the bit that's highlighted so all the way out onto the newly named Hamilton straight um, you can see your throttle trace so as obviously with my reference lap, you can see there, that's the faster of the two laps. I'm off the gas a little bit, um, a little bit later, and I'm actually on the gas a little bit earlier and definitely more smooth on the way in, on the way out, sorry. So uh, definitely plenty to have a look at there, and the same with your brake trace as well. Um, you can actually see I actually got off the brake there a little bit, so I actually realized that I'd braked a little bit too early, and... Uh, so kind of compensated by just coming back off the brake and then going back on again now obviously that's not ideal that's not what you want to be doing but uh, sometimes needs must and so 
hopefully that kind of shows you guys some of the powerful tools that you can use in uh, this kind of RS-analysis setup. Now, one of my favorite tools to use is in this little menu here. So up the top here, you've got a little drop down menu and you can have a look at your momentary delta time, which shows you where you're losing time around the track. So if I just zoom this back out again and you can see actually there's only two or three places on track where I'm really losing time. So kind of coming out onto the Hamilton Strait, through the kinks here, out onto the Wellington Strait, I lost a lot of time there and uh, obviously a little bit of time lost on the run out down to the start finish straight. So using this momentary delta, you can see which areas are your weakest points. So which which areas you're losing time compared to your reference lap. Now, one of the things, it's all well and good being able to compare your data to your own laps, but ultimately, if you can produce that reference lap, your aim is to produce that reference lap every single time and go as fast as you possibly can all the time. Now, there's another feature that I would love to show you guys, which really massively helps out on uh, learning to become faster. So with RS Dash, we have the option to add friends to our account. Now before, we were only able to see people's session history. So if you wanna add someone as a friend, you pop down to the friends tab on the kind of left-hand side of the screen. And then down at the bottom right, you have a little button called add friend. And you obviously put an email address or go and search their name in the registry for RS Dash. Now, before you were only able to see their session history. So if I pop back into the racing history tab um, and to this little drop down menu, you can see that I've got Joe, who is my teammate, his sessions there. So if I pop into few view sessions, I can see his lap times, all his data and stuff like that. Now, when we originally signed up for RS Dash, there was no way of allowing us to go in and analyze our laps against each other. So we emailed RS Dash support and they said, hold your horses. There is, this is coming in the next few days. So me and Joe both emailed them separately and asked this question. And they came back to us very, very quickly and said, this is going to be a thing. So now we have the option to go in and click the little edit button. And we've got a little tick box there for analysis laps. So if I hit save, I can now go into the analysis tool and look up my sessions. And again, I've got a little drop down menu here. So if I go into Joe's sessions, he's only got one session. So let's have a quick look at that one. So that's our session from December 12th. So December 12th at about 5.56 and then now Joe's lap is the reference lap and my lap is the comparison lap. So what we're actually now doing is comparing his data side by side with my data. And I, I say this is a really new feature. This isn't something you could do a week ago. And a massive thanks to the guys for kind of actually being responsive and talking to us about it, but also letting us know when this feature was live. We both signed up and basically... What you can now do is with that session, we both agreed to run the same car on the same setup with the same fuel load. And that gives you a way of having a look to see um, different the differences in our driving style. So, for example, if you look at our first corner, there we go. There's our brake trace for the first corner. So in red is me, in blue is Joe. So, for example, you can see. I'm much softer getting onto the brakes and much softer coming off. And Joe is more immediate. He's really nails the brakes and then is coming off earlier than I am to uh, to get the car through the corner. So it just gives us a bit of a way of looking at our laps and kind of showing you, um, kind of showing you where the differences lie. Now this can be used as a setup tool. This can be used to help inform choices that you make about setting the car up, especially if you're setting the car up between two of you. But also, um, it can be used as a teaching tool. So for example, 
Um, there's three of us in our team, and the guy that I haven't shown you today is much faster than both of us. So what we're going to be doing in the future is getting him to set a reference lap, or trying to get him to set a reference lap, and then comparing his data against ours so that we can have a look and see where we're losing time to uh, to our teammate. So there we go. There's a quick rundown of RS Dash Advanced Session Recorder and some of the analysis tools that you can use to uh, find out how you can improve your lap times, how you can kind of help to inform your setup choice and uh, help you can eventually get faster. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and you'll go and check out the RS Dash app. Um, as well as RS Dash Advanced Session Recorder, of course. For some games, it does work on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Um, other games, it's PC only. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Hit the uh, subscribe button as well if you've enjoyed what you've been watching. And of course, leave me a little comment as well. Let me know what you think. If you've had any experience with this, then uh, let's start a discussion in the comments below. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.